I was victimized by James Charles. And I think we should call the authorities. <laughs> Y'all need to get James Charles the hell up out of here. What in the world? You guys, James Charles came under fire for how much his tickets cost, right? So when his tickets came out, everyone was telling him, sis, that is too much money. I don't know who you think you are, but you're not that girl. We are not paying these prices. We are not doing any of that, right? So you would think, James Charles didn't change his prices. His price is still high as hell. So you would think that James Charles knows I just came under fire. Everyone is pissed off that my little tour cost this much money. So I am going to put on the best show that I can possibly put on so everyone can understand that I am worth the money. That's what you would think. But that is not what we got. You guys. <laughs> Who told James Charles he could sing? James Charles is one of those people who didn't get told enough in his childhood. He sucked at things. Like, he is one of those people who things just went their way too many times that they are no longer grounded in reality. You can't sing, James Charles. You can't sing. You can't. And I am the type of person, I'll give credit where credit is due. If you can kind of hold a note, if you kind of sound good, I'll be like, you know what? You need work, but there's potential there. No, y'all not hearing me. James Charles can't sing. Like, he is trying his best. That is the sad part. It's like me. I can't sing no better than James Charles. So I can relate to James Charles. He's trying his best. We are getting the best of James Charles' vocal ability. The very best of what he can do vocally, y'all. The best. And it sounds like that. So when is someone going to tell him, hang it up, flat screen? Like, when is someone going to tell him to let it go? To let it go. To... I feel so bad. We need to create a prayer circle for all the stupid, impressionable, naive kids who pay $500 to $250 to see this young man. We need to start a prayer circle for their mom and dad's bank accounts because y'all have been swindled, y'all have been bamboozled, y'all have been run amok, y'all have been led astray. Are you kidding me? To see, this is what I thought. This is what I thought. James Charles tickets were already too expensive, but I was thinking James Charles was going to do like a master class type things. Like everyone does meet and greets. Like I thought it was going to be very cute, very personable. He was going to put on some makeup. He was going to teach the girls how to do makeup and it was going to be cute. Was it? $500 to $250 type cute, no. But you know what? I thought it would at least be decent. And the people who really love James Charles would get something out of it, you know? They would, you know, yes, you spent too much money, but at least you got something. Chow, chow, chow. This man looks like he is in like an, uh, not even an auditorium. He looks like he is in someone's classroom and he is on stage with his mic. I still don't know what he was singing. What was he singing, you guys? What was he singing? But he was singing, he can't sing. He can't sing, but he gets his happy ass on that stage with that too small jumpsuit and it's just, <laughs> the hand kills me. Anyone who has seen James Charles sing, what is it with that hand? That's why I say we are getting the best of James Charles. He is trying to get those notes out. His hand that can't stay still, he is trying to muster up the best of his abilities and he can't do it. He can't get a note out of him. Like this is the key. This is the key. This is him. Like, not even in frame, y'all. He is up here. This is where he needs to be, and he is up here. Like, you're nowhere near the key. You're nowhere near the key, James. And the thing is, when we see him do covers on his YouTube channel, he'll sing on his little YouTube channel, those aren't live, and they still suck. How are we listening to pre-recorded vocals, and they still suck? <laughs> so when I heard... 
through the grapevine, this man was going to be singing. I knew y'all paid too much money. I say he's singing. He is singing on stage. So then the videos come out and this man sounds like a toad, a toad. He sounds like someone king someone's car. That is how he sounds. It is absolutely dreadful. It is horrible. He sounds horrible, but he thinks it's okay. So this brings me to my bigger point in all of this. When are we as a whole going to stop getting swindled by these damn YouTubers? They are swindling us, you guys. We are being swindled for our coins. This man thought it was okay. When he was telling y'all that his ticket prices were high, but he was putting on a whole experience that we needed to eat up, that we needed to love, he really thought this was the experience. You guys, these social media celebrities gotta go. They got to go. You can tell they just ain't never had shit and never expected to have shit and don't know how long they gonna have shit. So they have to make a buck like this. They have to make money like this because they don't know how long this shit gonna last or they're just greedy. It's one of the two. Either you're afraid that, you know, your time is gonna run out, which eventually it will. Everyone time run out unless your name is Beyonce. So they think their time is fleeting. So they need to make as much money as possible or two they're just greedy I, in the James Charles case I think it's just greed because James Charles has never struck me as someone who is humble James Charles fully thinks he's going to be famous for the rest of his life so I don't think he thinks his time is going to run out anytime soon James Charles is fu fully thinks he's going to get a record deal someday he's going to have the music videos of the house he is going to get Grammys he is going to get all types of things number one singles he fully expects that to be his life sometime soon why I don't know and you know what and we live in 2019 stranger things have happened but but this comes from a place of pure greed pure greed when we people get on these youtube platforms we give them so much praise for doing the bare minimum the bare minimum how many times have we heard james charles pretend like his videos just take so much work james charles youtube is your job there are people who literally work 20 hours a day there are people who work 12 hours a day so don't sit here and tell me that oh my gosh yes i asked for a lot of money yes da, 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 da. but my videos are a whole production they take this this and this number one you have a whole team how much of this are you actually doing james charles number one number two and it's your choice to have a team if you choose to have a team don't come back to me and be upset because I don't want to pay for all your team to eat at night sorry that is not that is not the burden I have to take on so don't sit here and get upset when your fans call you out on your stuff being too expensive and your merch being this that and the third but you come back and say but y'all want good video quality I'm putting on a whole production when I go to tour so y'all need to just deal with it no we don't we don't have to just deal with it because if it were not for your friend I'm not a James Charles friend so don't think I'm concluding me and y'all bullshit but I'm speaking for y'all don't sit here and say I have to just sit here and suck it up when you decide to do these things without me you wouldn't have these things so yes I feel like I should voice my opinion without the fan you wouldn't be going on tour without the fan you wouldn't have videos to film so if I come to you and say hey I want to support you but you're doing too much you need to listen to my criticism because you're not someone who exists outside of fans you're just someone on YouTube period period everything you do is because of fan support you don't your backing comes purely because you have fans so if they go somewhere you have nothing and so where did i lose you where did humble lose you where did you believe you could swindle your fans for 500 dollars? but it comes from greed they don't care they don't care about you guys if i've said it in one video and if i said it in another video i've said it too many times james charles getting on stage and singing the way he was singing he's insulting your intelligence he is insulting your kindness he is taking advantage of you of you it is one thing to want to live out your dream and be like you know what i want to be a singer so you know i want to sing but it's another thing to think to yourself, there are people 
who paid a lot of money to be here. And I should give them the best of the best. I should give them what their money is worth. His tickets are going for prices higher than I have paid to see Beyonce sometimes. You think Beyonce would get on stage and sound like that? No, because she is fully aware of the fact, and this we don't even have to boil it down to Beyonce. We can go to somebody way lower. I don't even know why I'm bringing Beyonce up in a James Charles conversation. But the fact of the matter is on morals. If people pay a certain amount of money to see them, I'm not going to do the bare minimum. I'm not. I am going to show them where their $500 came from. It'd be one thing if he was on stage and there were lights and there was cameras, there were fireworks there were water shows and it was like you know what you sound like a billy goat gruff but at least i see my production value like taylor swift taylor swift can't sing for shit but she will put on a production katie perry does the same thing they will at least show you that your money you spent to see them went towards something towards something from what i've seen of this james charles show it doesn't even seem like your money went towards anything. He was sitting on a stage. His audio sounded groggy. He sounded horrible. There were no lights. Y'all looked like y'all was in a dimly lit room. It looked bad. It looked bad. But he came on Twitter and told y'all that y'all was paying that much because he was going to give y'all a good show. He knew he did not have a good show to give y'all, but he knew it didn't matter because they take advantage of y'all. YouTube is a culture of taking advantage of the consumer because it's unregulated. YouTube is new, new, especially the amount of money people are making on YouTube. The amount of money people are making on YouTube is very new. So it comes very unregulated. The Patreon stuff, some of y'all are Patreons of people and they giving y'all video once every three months, even though y'all was promised a video every month. But y'all, they know there's nothing y'all can do about it. Are y'all gonna take them to court? No, over $10 a month? No, there's nothing y'all can do about it. Some people y'all have forgotten y'all are even Patreons up because they ain't posted giving you a Patreon video in so damn long. But they taking your money every month. But they know it's unregulated. What are you going to do? After you give James Charles your $500, you show up to his concert and he gives y'all, he gives y'all the bare minimum. What are you going to do? It's not like in a, in a, um, and if it's a real celebrity, if I show up to a Rihanna concert and she doesn't do anything, I can go sue Live Nation, whatever. I can go sue someone. There's a bigger company that I can go sue. There is someone I can take it up with, right? And when you are fans of a bigger celebrity, I don't feel anything personal with Beyonce. If that makes any sense, I am fully aware. Like, for example, if something happens at my show, my Beyonce or Rihanna concert, I'm not going to take it up with Beyonce in her Instagram comments. I'm not going to take it up with Rihanna in her Twitter DMs. You see, there's, there's a, there's a lot of people in between me and my favorite artists. And I'm aware of that. They don't create the muse that we're relatable, that we are one. I know that I'm paying a lot of other people to get to see Beyonce. So when there is an issue at my concert or something, I'm not upset with Beyonce. Beyonce can't control what went through A to B. But people like James Charles, it's me and you and we can square up. We can square up because you are fully in control of this shindig. You are fully in control. You cannot, you can lie to me and tell me there's a whole team. There's 10 of y'all. There are 10 of y'all. And y'all, we can all square up in the parking lot. Like, so don't sit here and make it seem like it's not your fault. I don't know what was, you did know what was going on. You are a part of this. You are the face of this. The whole point of why YouTube people get fans is because it's personable. You are selling a personable experience. That is the whole point of YouTube. Real celebrities are not selling you personalism. Is that a word? They're not selling to be person they're not trying to be relatable to me so it doesn't upset me when I don't I feel slighted. It's not their fault. There is someone else 
problem that I feel slighted. But in the James Charles situation, when you don't get something you paid for, you should feel slighted by him because he has sold you that y'all are friends. He cares about you. Y'all are sisters. Y'all are one. He has sold you that dream. And your sister, your sister, he has taken advantage of you. He has stolen your money and he knows that there is nothing you can do about it. We crack jokes on James Charles. We do Twitter, you know, his little Twitter memes and stuff, get thousands of likes and stuff. And I'm sure it hurts him a little bit, but at the end of the day, his point is money. He money, 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 money. And he doesn't lose any of that. All the Twitter jokes, everyone making fun of his singing, he doesn't lose money in the end of the day. He knew his show was bad. He knew his show was bad. He was just hoping it wasn't bad enough that they would make it to the internet, but it did. So he swindles you and he moves on to the next state. It doesn't matter to him. So once again, stop giving these people your money until they prove to you they are giving you something worth taking your money. They'll have packages from, there's no way you paying $250 and not getting a meet and greet. There is no way you are paying $250 to see James Charles and not getting a meet and greet. Y'all are paying all this money and getting nothing for it. And he tells you some lie and that y'all believe it. Y'all believe it. That's where I go back. I go back to the fact that it's unregulated. There's no way actual corporations and actual businesses could do something like that because they will get sued. They will get sued. They have a lot more money at stake and they they want longevity. These people just care about getting rich quick. So they don't care that they swindle you. It's about getting the most money and the most amount of time. And there's no one to hold accountable. Either you go to James Charles DMs and cuss him out. He'll tell you he'll give you a free palette and you get over it. They know their audience. They know who they can swindle. They know it. They know who is coming to their shows and that's why they swindle you guys. They fully take advantage of you guys, okay? Okay? So stop giving these people your money. <laughs> you guys, I was victimized by James Charles. Just seeing those videos. No, I didn't go to his tour. Y'all know good and damn well. But I saw those videos and I felt the pain. I felt their pain. We have all been victimized by James Charles, period, okay? See you guys in my next one. Bye.